sort of farm-like setting nose that I swear whatever that farm smell is gets into your mask and it just sits there <laughs> and permeates. I have followed your suitcase back on the airplane. Hey, buddy. I'm actually going to go to where the expo is. And uh, hop, uh, the inflation numbers just came out at the bottom of the hour. Inflation for May is up 5% from a year ago. That is the fastest pace in 2000, since 2008. You are paying record prices for pork at the store. It's over four hundred and thirty six pound on average across the country. And the, even though they have, they are farmers, top farmers are having to pay more to feed their pigs, they still have these tariffs in China and all the restaurants closed down last year. They are for once doing really, really well. And demand is so strong because it turns out when we had to start buying our meat at the grocery store last year instead of the restaurant. We ate more pork than we would have eaten if we were still going to restaurants. So they had a great year. Okay, Jane, can I, will you do me a favor and call us back? Our connection's uh, pretty crummy right now. And, uh, call me right back. Okay, call me back. Uh, so that's good. I mean, I'm thrilled to hear that about the pork industry. And it kind of makes sense because if you were like me and you weren't going to restaurants a lot, um, one of the things that I, well, I love. I love my magazines. I'm old school. I don't go online and find my recipes. I am old school. I bet I probably get mm, six or so magazines. I guess Jane is back with us. Jane, uh, I was just saying now. Much better, much better. So I was just saying that that actually makes sense, though, that people sort of delved into the pork world who maybe weren't doing it as much before. Because I know, at least for me during the pandemic, the one thing that I do is I love my magazines and I'm old school. I get magazines in the mail. I don't go online and, like, look for recipes. I literally sit down with the magazines and rip them out old school style. But I was trying things that I wouldn't have tried before. And I bet that there are some people who thought, I don't cook with ground pork very often or sausage hasn't been a thing, but you started looking for anything that you could do to sort of branch out, and maybe maybe that was helpful. Exactly, exactly. But here's the thing about California, JJL. We passed Prop 12 of, in 2018, which says, among other things, that sows, female pigs, you know, who are going to have babies, need to have more space, and, need, and you can't put them in certain crates. And so... Uh, if you're going to sell pork into California, which is 15% of the domestic market, well, only 13% of the population, we eat 15% of the pork. If you're a house farmer in Iowa who sells pork into California, you need to be abiding by these new rules, which are still vague, like January 1st, uh, and these farmers are saying they don't have the time or money to make those uh, changes at times. And so there is a possibility that in California we will have less and it will cost more until farmers decide or are able to accommodate Prop 12. I mean, you know, California does this. They've done it with chickens. They've yeah. done it with automobiles. They don't throw our weight around. Um, but this is one thing where the hog farmers are throwing their weight back and saying, well, you know, good luck. We'll, uh, we'll sell the chili anymore or we'll do something else uh, until we can accommodate it. Is this an opportunity if you want to be a hog farmer in California to say, okay, since others don't want to sell here, we will and we'll abide by the rules? Well, most hog farming has left California because of all the rules. Sure. So maybe there's an opportunity to bring some of this back. But it costs so much money to reconfigure uh, these areas. And the, and the thing is, yes, we want animals to have space. But pigs are incredibly social. You could have ten times as much space, and they're all going to hang out together in one quarter. And when sows are, are pregnant, or you, know, you put them in crates, because they sometimes fight with each other, at least that's what the hog farmers tell me, and they are pretty, they can be aggressive, uh, to for their safety. So hog farmers are saying, this is doing the opposite of what voters wanted. Uh, the proposals are still kind of I was looking up the some of the statistics on the World Pork Expo by the numbers on the website. They say more than 60,000 pork producers market more than 115 million hogs annually. I don't think I realized there were 60,000 
pork producers out there. I think I figured there were a fewer with just larger, larger farms. Oh, no. Well, but they all feed into large organizations. So they're very, they're very cattle ranching, which really is very small. They are world. They had a good year during the pandemic. Are they concerned that as people then start going back to the restaurants and, you know, cook less at home, that they'll get back into their normal habits and that that will diminish this good year that they had? Um, not yet. I mean, you know, agriculture is cyclical. The good years are followed by that. It's just the way, it's the way it goes. Prices go up, people stop buying, prices go down, and you don't make as much money. I think the bigger concern for them right now is this new situation in California and this judge's ruling that packing plants, six packing plants here in the Midwest have to slow down line speed and that will create a backlog like we saw last year of animals because these animals were planned 11 months ago. Sure. So if you can't slow down the line speed and say like, oh, okay, well, we have got these things that have to be, you know, slaughtered. So those are the two big concerns right now and that, that, if there's a choice, if there's a backup of supply, that will drive prices down for the farmers. Not say you me, but for the farmers. All right, Jane, thank you. I uh, I got to say, I knew that you would make this interesting, but thinking about <laughs> the World Pork, what, what, okay, I got to ask, I mean, I know this is a horrible question, but is there good food at the World Pork Expo? Oh, my God, it's beautiful. What do you think? It's all on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all, it's amazing. I'm sorry, uh, I'm not a vegan, and after being here, I don't think I can be. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, at least enjoy that perk for us. I've been to the Rib Festival in Reno. Uh, amazing. And so I can only imagine if there was an expo that focused on ribs and there's one that pork, uh, focuses on pork, pork as a whole, you did get the prime assignment. I did. I win. All right. See you later, Jane. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay. See ya. CNBC's Jane Wells. That's fascinating to me that... During the pandemic, I mean, I know that there were certain industries that went up and down and whatever. And But do you remember at the start of the pandemic where there was a big run on food and you could only buy a couple of things? You could only buy two packages of steaks and you could only buy two packages of hamburgers and two packages of chicken. I don't really remember anybody saying, oh, shoot, I can only buy two packages of ground sausage or I can only buy two packages of ground pork, or I can only buy two packages of uh, hot links. But maybe, maybe, in part, that's what caused people to say, well, shoot, I gotta expand my cooking horizons and try these other things. Anyway, good for Jane. Jane makes the freaking World Pork Expo great and entertaining and informational. Of course she does. All right, let me get you a couple more stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The LAPD says it's arrested a homeless guy suspected of knocking out another man in an apparent random attack at Venice Beach. The cops say the homeless guy allegedly walked up to the man and sucker punched him in the face on Oceanfront Walk on Sunday. They say he was living in a nearby homeless encampment. Long Beach has approved $2.5 million for new pumps, a warning system, and other critical repairs to the Queen Mary. Mayor Robert Garcia says a third-party operator that suddenly abandoned its lease presents an opportunity for the city. To really have this chance to have not just the ownership of the ship, but uh, have no lease in place uh, that is really, you know, causing uh, challenges for our ability to fully control kind of the future of the ship. Staff will present long-term options in July that address potentially hundreds of millions of dollars more in restoration and upkeep costs. 
The council is considering the possibility of a historical designation for the ship or having the feds declare it a national monument. All right, when we come back, I've got your biz bites for you this morning. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. And that guy got a grilling from Congress yesterday. I'll tell you why. And speaking of Facebook, are you one of those people who, uh, it's so funny. I have my, I am Apple through and through. I got the Apple Watch. I got the Apple computer, the iPhone, the whole nine yards. My husband is so anti-Apple. It's ridiculous. He does have an iPhone only because I told him, hey, I can get you one free. And, you know, he's cheap, so, you know. But any other way, he likes the idea of the Apple Watch, but he's like, I don't want a freaking Apple Watch. Well, Facebook is coming out with a watch that apparently is going to rival the Apple Watch. So for people like him, could this be an option? And also, UPS is looking at possible same-day delivery. And there's a home improvement product whose price has just gone up. Paint. The price of paint has just gotten more expensive. We'll find out why in just a second. Right now, let's see what's up with your drive on the 710. Long Beach on the 710 southbound just before Delano Boulevard. It's an overturned vehicle, went over the right shoulder of Bank and then overturned on the track. So we're looking at lots of activity going on here. There is a jam for you from the 91. In Commerce on the 5 southbound at Slauson, comp out car in the left lane, being pushed over to the right shoulder as we speak. So they did run a traffic break here. You're still going to find some slowing right around Garfield. In Corona, 91 eastbound at Lincoln, that's a stalled vehicle, center divider of the fast track CHP on scene. And Pacoima, a brush fire or an encampment fire happening here on the right shoulder, southbound 5 at the 118. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Beck. This report is sponsored by the Center at Sierra Health Foundation. Get vaccinated and get rewarded with a $50 card and the chance to win up to $1.5 million. Win big and help protect our communities. Prizes while supplies last. Final drawing on June 15th. Visit myturn.ca.gov. This is Chris Collinsworth. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings. The Islanders are going to the Stanley Cup semifinals. New York eliminated Boston to set a date with the reigning champs in Tampa Bay. LeBron James is changing his number back to six. The King wore six in Miami because the Heat retired number 23 in honor of Michael Jordan. And Tony Gonsolin couldn't make it out of the second inning as the Dodgers starter struggled in his first start of the season. L.A. held off the Pirates. I'm Misty Jordan. Download the DraftKings app and use code SPORTS to get a free shot and millions of dollars up for grabs this week with your first deposit. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply to DraftKings.com for details. Summer is here. Those temperatures are going to be around 100 starting Tuesday. You're going to be drinking more water. You're going to be using more water at home. you got plants to water and gardens to water. Well, instead of reaching for plastic water bottles, you could be filling any glass or reusable water bottle with clean, filtered water straight from any tap in your house if you just had a life source water system. It makes every source in your home a convenient place to get clean, delicious water. And a life source whole house water system requires absolutely no maintenance. No filters to change. You don't have to exchange tanks every month. And if you have hard water, a Life Source Whole House water system helps with that too. It also reduces the odor and taste of chlorine from your water without using salts or chemicals. Plus, you'll be bathing and showering in filtered water, which means your skin and your hair are going to be free of the drying and harmful effects of chlorine. And if you've been using hand sanitizer like I do or you bleach your hair like I do, any way that you can keep moisture in your body is a good thing. And with a Life Source water system, you're buying directly from the factory, which has been right here in Southern California for over 37 years. And hey, if you're looking for a new career opportunity, Life Source is currently looking for dedicated team members. So call Life Source today and get full service and full confidence in your water. Call them at 1-800-334-5009. That's 1-800-334-5009. Or just visit Life Source Water. Water.com. Life Source Water. Taste and feel the difference. If high pain takes you from first place to last place, you're not a bad gamer. You just need better internet. Get AT&T Fiber and get a pain rate under 11 milliseconds and unlimited data. With 20 times faster upload speeds, AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience than cable. Limited availability in select areas. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Speed comparison based on AT&T Internet 1000 wired upload connection speed versus major cable providers. One gig service with uploads of 35 megabits per second. Speeds vary, not guaranteed. Restrictions apply. Hey, business 
owners. What if you could cut all your business expenses in half? It would be amazing, right? Well, you could start by switching to Spectrum Business. When you switch, you get the best internet and phone service for half of what you're paying now. Call 888-489-2212 today, and you'll get faster internet, proven reliability, and the most value. Only with Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212 today. Spectrum Business. No nonsense. Just business. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Hi, we're the Goo Goo Dolls. We're fortunate that we can give our daughters everything they need to grow and learn. But not every child can focus on classes and play dates. Nearly 13 million kids in the U.S. face hunger. That's one in six. But school lunch might be their only meal each day. And it's heartbreaking to imagine any child going to bed hungry. We're dreaming of a perfect day when kids can smile, play, and just be kids without worrying about where their next meal will come from. Feeding America is working to make that perfect Day Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescued billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste. That food is given to families and children in need. Being a kid should be about doing things that make an ordinary day extraordinary. Learning to play an instrument, building a sandcastle, hosting tea parties. Hunger should never be an obstacle to growing up. You can help end childhood hunger in your community by visiting feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ag Council. Every time the sun shines in Southern California, which is all the time, I remember how much money I saved thanks to Solar Max technology. How much have you saved since you switched? Uh, let's just say that my energy bills are so low now that I am no longer the thermostat warrior in my house. My AC is practically free. Your family must be thrilled. Oh, yeah, the family's thrilled. <laughs> Listen, I'm thrilled. I have saved with no upfront cost. Solar Max does everything themselves right here in Southern California, and that means exceptional quality control and no middleman. Right now, get SolarMax for only $69.98 a month, which includes a solar panel system and home battery with an APR as low as 0.99%. This offer will expire, though, on June 30th. Call pound 250 from your cell phone and say the keyword SolarMax. That's pound 250 SolarMax or go to SolarMaxTech.com, SolarMaxTech.com. Monthly payment available on approved credit, CSLB number 97204. When it comes to protecting your business from fire, Bay Alarm brings the best. Like industry-leading fire detection systems, monitor 24-7. Bay Alarm puts the pro in fire protection. Now, more than ever, Bay Alarm. ACO 28 CCL 880138. Now, another iHeartRadio COVID-19 vaccine update. Looking to get out of town this summer, TSA Administrator Darby Lejoy says it's going to get busy. In addition to ensuring availability of staff to meet increased passenger volumes, both canines and enhanced technology will play an integral role in TSA's checkpoint strategy. LeJoy says he expects the federal mask mandate in airports and on airplanes to remain in place until at least mid-September. Get the latest vaccine info now at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. When you work in media, you're going to get paid crap. If you're 18 years old and you're trying to figure out which industry you should get into, don't give up on your dream. But understand that it's not coming on Thursday. Gary and Shannon, you do have to slowly build your way into whatever industry you're going to get into. Filling in for Bill Handel. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. <laughs> Morning, Gary and Shannon, with that advice on uh, how smart of a business decision it is to get into the media. <laughs> KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Welcome to a Thursday. Your weekend is right around the corner. Your heat wave is right around the corner as well. 90s for the weekend, low 100s all next week if you're inland. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee, and some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A Garden Grove police officer has been charged with threatening and battering homeless people while on duty. In one case, the officer is accused of hitting a man in the back of the head and pulling his hair while the man was handcuffed. The officer is on administrative leave. He faces up to four years in jail if convicted on all charges. It's time for Biz Bites. Bites of Business. Biz Bites on Wake Up Call with Jennifer Jones-Lee. So, what did Dr. Fauci and Facebook have to say between each other? There are two top House Republicans who are asking to see emails between Facebook 
and Dr. Fauci. They claim Facebook censored speech about how COVID-19 began in China. We'll see how far that goes. Speaking of Facebook, I was telling you that uh, there could be a new rival to the Apple I, or the Apple Watch from Facebook next summer. In fact, the watch, which Facebook has yet to officially announce, will be they say a handy accessory for content creating for Facebook and Instagram users. It apparently will have two detachable cameras for taking pictures and videos that can be shared directly across Facebook. And a camera on the front of the watch will allow you to make video calls, while a camera on the back of the watch will let you take pictures and videos once detached. People might like this. They might see this as the thing that the Apple Watch doesn't have. I mean, I, I think that... Uh, you know what? Can I take pictures on my watch? No, I can't think about it. Anyway, uh, but what this might do, though, is give this content creation. That might be the thing that pushes people toward this Facebook watch or Instagram watch. Possibly younger people. You know, old ladies like me actually just use it for the phone option and, oh, I don't know, a, a watch. But there are some people are going to look at this as sort of a portable content device in addition to their phone. So that's kind of cool. UPS is exploring a same-day option. It's a delivery model that's been employed by gig economy players, and they say we don't have same-day product, so we're looking at it, according to one of the chief executives. They say we don't have this all the way figured out, but we've got a team of people looking at it, and I would love that. Same day stuff. I will pay a little bit extra if I go to bed at night and I realize, oh, shoot, like my family's coming down tonight. And I was thinking last night, oh, shoot, I don't have a couple of things that I wish I had in the bathroom. And when I went to Amazon at 11.15 last night, don't judge me, I did find a couple of things that were same day delivery if you put it in the cart that isn't tomorrow because it was so late. But uh, it was like two ninety nine. I could get it there. Yeah, okay. I paid the extra two ninety nine. Amazon and Walmart have a rivalry that's heating up with dueling prescription discounts. And they announced this week they'd offer similar programs that Prime and Walmart Plus members would get that would give them better access to commonly prescribed medications while offering discounts on them without relying on insurance. So if you've got um, a prescription right now, with one of them and you want to maybe look at the other one, I don't think it's it's not bad to price compare. I mean, you know, whatever your prescription is, is going to be the same no matter what. But why not go to the place that's going to give you the cheapest option? Paint, as in paint, like paint your walls, watching paint dry paint. It just got more expensive. Sherwin-Williams announced that demand remains strong for paint and products and it's forced the retailer to hike prices starting 7% in August. Which means, buy your, uh, so Jane said, buy your bacon now, buy your paint now, too. The company blamed the rising cost of raw material and price increases on a pandemic trend that continues because consumers changed their purchasing behavior and supply chains have gotten messed up around the world. And demand for residential paint jobs, both fixer-uppers and new homes, has been strong. And the industrial side of business, they say, has recovered a whole lot faster than expected. And, oh, dear gracious i don't i'm trying not to curse this is the stupidest fashion trend i have seen in a really long time there's a pair of crocs for every occasion now this is what this story says i say no no one should ever wear crocs stilettos shannon are you listening yes yes i know that you are anti the croc uh, I saw the picture of the Crocs stilettos yesterday on Instagram. I thought it was a meme page. I was shocked and horrified, equally so, when I learned that they are a reality in this world. And I'm not here for it. Balenciaga! Mm -mm. It's not like this is, I don't know, no offense to Walmart or Target, like a, a partnership that they had with Crocs. But Balenciaga comes out with some far out stuff and just because it has the label people embrace them but um, so anybody who's listening it's a croc like a regular old school croc like uh, chef mario batali the orange croc and the heel is lame it's like a it's like a kitten heel it's not even a full stiletto and it looks the bottom on it the, the little i don't know it looks like a rubber stopper it's or terrible. like a washer it's absolutely terrible 
it's anyway, and they're selling for a thousand dollars a pair. You know what? That's you know that's like a goop thing. Sometimes I'm excited about the goop products because rich people are unveiled as being ridiculously dumb. Yeah, because they buy a candle that costs four hundred dollars, and I feel like they should be fleeced for their money. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way about the Balenciaga Croc stiletto. I, the minute I saw the story last night, I'm like, I'm ending with it because I know Shannon is anti the Croc. Now you're upset for bringing me in. <laughs> No, this is good. You feel exactly like I do. All right, we'll do handle on the news with Gary and Shannon in just a second. This is KFI and KOSTHD2 Los Angeles. Robin, if you haven't seen these, you got to look them up. I can't do it. I, I just wouldn't. No. It, they're no. awful. Awful. <laughs> I know somebody that wears just regular old Crocs, and I, every time I see her, I'm just like, really? You yeah. just pick something else. Yeah, shoot. They're called shoes. Yeah. Get shoes. Yeah. Those are not shoes. God. All right. Okay. Back to traffic. Let's go to Commerce. On the 5 South at Lawson. It was a stall car in the left lane. They've cleared that. It may have set the tone, though, for the northbound 5. Kind of congested now from the 605 freeway. Long Beach overturned car on the 710 southbound before Delama Boulevard. Now, it's not on the freeway itself. It's down the right shoulder embankment on the track. So do expect southbound 710 to be a struggle from Alondra, and then you're going to uh, uh, get uh, pick up speed again right after Delamo Boulevard if you're traveling south. Mid-City Los Angeles on the 10 west of La Brea, wreck with a car in the middle lane and the other one on the right shoulder. That's going to slow you down at Normandy. Downtown Los Angeles, 101 south at the 110. Just seeing a new crash here in the right lane. That's going to have some volume from about Echo Park Avenue. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Banks. Looking for your next investment? Want to cash out of stock market risk and volatility? Here are eight reasons to consider NRIA's proven real estate development fund. Monthly cash flow payouts of 10% annualized and bonuses to 21% targeted. We strategically locate in lower risk, high demand areas people are moving to. New construction is short on supply. Real estate affords diversification and safety from stock market risk and volatility. We have substantial property assets selling out every month supporting your investment. Our short and long-term strategy strategy provides for steady returns today and major upside targets. Our buildings are socially responsible, environmentally friendly, and pandemic hardened. We are an industry leader with a 15-year proven track record. Hedge against inflation and receive steady cash flow. Start your due diligence at NRIA.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA private placement memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at NRIA.net. You want to know the secret to making sure everything at Ralph's is fresh? Secret shoppers. Spies, we hire to expertly inspect our produce department in every store. Their mission is to ensure we have the freshest bananas, lettuce, and more. Now that the secret is out, you know what else is? Tomatoes that are fresher than fresh. Ralph's. Fresh for everyone. Now it's even easier to save on your favorites with delivery and free pickup. Just visit ralphs.com or the app today. Restrictions apply. Ralph's. Fresh for everyone. SoCal weather from KFI heating up by the weekend. We'll have highs in the 90s, low 100s by next week. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. This has been your wake-up call. Handle on the news with Gary and Shannon starts now. Handle. We interrupt this program to bring you Gary <laughs> and Shannon. <laughs> On the news, Gary and Shannon. On the news, and now here's ooh, Gary and Shannon <laughs> for Bill Handel. John makes me hate myself every morning around this time. Those <laughs> Catholic hymns just keep on giving, don't they? Oh, God. <laughs> fantastic. Oh, my gosh. I am very, very excited for this show later on at 9 o'clock. We are going to spend some time with Denise Huskins and her now husband, Dr. Aaron Quinn. I didn't know that. This is the couple from Vallejo from 2015 who, when they were attacked in the middle of the night, Denise was kidnapped. It was the weirdest story throughout the Western United States at the time, and no one believed them. I mean, the cops didn't believe them, the media didn't believe them, and nobody believed them. The details were so bizarre in this kidnapping that it was hard to believe. 
It was called at the time the real Gone Girl case, where supposedly she had faked a kid. Because remember, she showed up two days later. They originally thought Aaron killed her and dumped the body somewhere. She shows up two days later in Huntington Beach, of all places, right near where her mom uh, was living at the time. And she didn't take the FBI plane back to Vallejo for questions. Like, it was the, and everybody thought, oh, they totally made this up. Uh, they didn't. And, and it was or not just what happened to them in terms of the attack and the kidnapping, but the treatment by law enforcement at the time, some of the law enforcement agents that were, uh, that were supposedly investigating the case, uh, they came out with a new book. It's called Victim F. We're going to talk with Denise Huskins and Aaron Quinn uh, about that ordeal because that was sort of the beginning of it. All of the therapy that they had to go through, they're now married, they have a daughter, a beautiful daughter who was born. The fact that their relationship was able to withstand That's that the, and didn't thrive. Because at the beginning, they were not even, I mean, they were like just recently reunited right. when this attack happened. There was an ex-girlfriend that was still in the mix and played a major role in the whole story. So we'll get into that for the full hour coming mm -hmm. up at 9. Also, Kim Jong-un appears to have lost some weight and it may have geopolitical consequences. Did he get a Peloton? Or did he get the treadmill? Or a tummy tuck. Or a what? Yeah, he's not putting in work on the uh, on the Peloton. Oh, I didn't mean that he's actually doing it. I mean, he got it, and then he's making other he's, people do it. He's not <laughs> keeping an eye on the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gary and Shannon in for Handle today on this Thursday, June 10th. Jennifer Jones-Lee is here. Oh, well, uh, hi, John. Hi, Alex. Oh, good morning. Yes. Looking great. Award winner, Alex. You're not saying good morning to us anymore? Because Handel's coming back Monday, so we're chopped liver. Yeah, you guys don't even care about us Wow. Whew. That's hurtful. Man, a guy lets you pet his dog, and you just fall in love with him. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whatever. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. Lead story. Good morning. Good morning. Man, I was. I made a crack yesterday about Cal OSHA and the standards board meeting last night to try to come up with whatever plan they're going to put in place for June 15th. It was an emergency meeting. Right. And I said they're going to sit around and they're going to go, Nuh. I watched 45 minutes of that meeting last night. Uh, most of it was the public comment, so that was the, I didn't get a chance to hear all of the... But there was so much that they completely stepped on their own scrote sacks or ovaries or whatever they were stepping on. They were all over the place. They reversed themselves for the second time in a week yesterday. Duh. Withdrawing that controversial pending mask regulation Duh. that would say that every employee in a room has to be fully vaccinated for you to go maskless. We raised the issue on this program uh, not that long ago, actually, when we first heard about this regulation. And we thought that there may be some issues when it comes to, I don't know, privacy concerns Duh. in the workplace Duh. and your employer saying to you, have you been vaccinated and do they have the right to say that? And where is that conversation going to lead? And could companies be open for liability because of them? Duh. They are now going back to and June 15th, according to Cal OSHA. This is unless the governor steps in. <laughs> according to Cal OSHA, workplace masking rules revert back to November of last year, which is everybody wears a mask, period. So on June 15th, despite what the governor says about, we're going back, we're coming back, baby, we're not coming back because the Cal OSHA rules pertain to so many buildings and places of work in this state, it's not, he's got to do something. He has got to do something to figure this out. You can't have the State Health and Human Services Secretary going out and saying, all right, June 15th, everybody, you can ditch your mask unless you are in, what, public transportation or a doctor's office or a jail or something like that. Right. And then have Cal OSHA go, whoa, no, no, or let's see. And listen, what was amazing is they simply don't know. One hand does not know what no. the other is doing. They have no. no idea what California Department of Public Health regulations are when it comes to those things. And they were surprised by This is the other thing. They didn't know what CDPH was going to do. So they had, didn't have any, what, time to look at the? Where have you been for the last 18 months? 
How could you not know what's going on? You're going to make me mad. <clears throat> I have, uh, uh, as, as I understand it, what they said is that the masking rules for people who are vaccinated go away. That, that businesses have uh, a, an ability to require masks. Individual businesses have, a require, or, or have an ability to require masks but that they did away with the everyone has to wear a mask unless somebody's not vaccinated rule. Well, here, so... And that they'll, listen, they'll put new rules in next week. And we're not, maybe. we're not morons, and we can't figure this stuff out. I don't even have a business that I'm worried about. I don't have a business where I have to be concerned. Am I going to get sued by somebody, or am I going to suffer fines from Cal OSHA because I don't understand their bass backwards rules about all of this. And think about us. What, two weeks ago we got that email from iHeartMedia that said, okay, if everybody in your office is vaccinated, right. take your mask off. Unless. Unless you live in one of the states that says, no, you can't do it. Well, what if the building that we work in decides, hey, you all have to wear a mask in right. the common areas. So does that mean while I'm in the newsroom, I can take it off because iHeart says I can. But when I walk in the hall to the office, I got to put it back on. Yes. Get into the office, take it off, mm -hmm. grab my papers, come back, put it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Totally you understand. Nailed it. All right, that was a lot of time on that one story, but we'll come back and continue with Handle on the News. I'm sorry, we should uh, be faster than that. Gary and Shannon in for Bill Handel and Jennifer Jones Lee has the news. President Biden sitting down with British Prime Minister Johnson today on his first official trip overseas. The two are expected to talk about lifting COVID-19 restrictions. Two top House Republicans are asking to see emails between Facebook and Dr. Fauci. They claim Facebook censored speech about how COVID-19 started in China. And Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are revealing more about how they named their baby girl Lilibet, the royal couple confirms they did consult with Queen Elizabeth before using her childhood nickname. We've got a crash on the 10. We'll check with EKFI in the sky next. Life is full of surprises, and one of the worst surprises you can experience in life is when you get into an accident and you're injured. That's where my friends at Sweet James Accident Attorneys come in. You see, personal injury is the only thing Sweet James does. They've helped thousands of listeners just like you get the medical treatment they really need and recover millions of dollars every month. There's no justice in accepting a low offer from the insurance company after your injury has changed your life. You're going to need help navigating the legal system to make sure you get medical care, vehicle repair, and the most amount of money possible. And you won't pay a dime until they win your case. If you've been injured in an accident, call Sweet James for free consultation. 800-500-5200. 800-500-5200 or sweetjames.com. Celebrate summer at Whole Foods Market with berries for your picnic. Get three 16-ounce organic strawberries for $10 through June 15th, plus an extra 10% off for Prime members while supplies last. Learn more on the Whole Foods Market app. SoCal weather from KFI, sunny with highs low 70s to the low 80s. This report is brought to you by Whole Foods Market. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We're watching the crash on the 10. Mid-City Los Angeles on the 10 westbound at La Brea. It's a wreck where one of the vehicles ended up in the middle traffic lane, the other one on the right shoulder. What it's doing, though, is uh, making it pretty tough for your drive through Normandy right now. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by Injury Attorney Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Baugh with a wreck downtown Los Angeles. You betcha, boy. I approach it in the four line. Well, good morning, Rob. We've got to get right to work here. This is so not fair for this time of the morning. Uh, the problem is uh, southbound 101, the Hollywood Freeway, just before you get down to the four level, about a couple hundred yards before. Two right lanes are blocked. As you know, that's half of the lanes available for the southbound 101. Bottom line backed up from Vermont. Now, if you're back in the San Fernando Valley, if you want to use the eastbound 134 to the south five, it's a pretty easy drive right now, all the way down to the 110 to get into downtown that way. Or in Surface Street. Don't forget that good old Sunset Boulevard. I know it weaves around a little bit, but it'll get you down to Dodger State. Pretty easy right now.